Good morning, dear candidates. What a pleasure interacting with you all. This must be our 62nd video. Based on your queries, your questions and your comments, we thought we must come back to you with all the answer which you need. You had seen our two videos. They were live interviews which were highly appreciated by you all. The viewership crossed in one case to nearly 5.5 lakh already and in the second one is just going to touch 1 lakh views very shortly. Along with that came a lot of questions by you and today we are going to answer all the questions we, which you had raised about the interview process. My dear friends, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell for all the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. So coming straight to the topic, the first question which you had asked was, is English necessary to clear the SSB? Can I speak in Hindi? Dear candidates, let me be very frank and very blunt about it. English language, the knowledge of it and your communication skills on this particular language is a must. The reason being simply that the entire training, training curriculum in the IMA and NDA is in English. And I would tell you my personal experience when I had visited NDA and IMA, I very distinctly remember, particularly the NDA commandant, who was running an extra class for a few cadets who could not follow English. And he had very bluntly told us to please pass only those candidates who are reasonably good in English and who should be able to follow the instructions in English. So it's all the more reason, though we do permit during the SSP process that sometime you can speak in Hindi, but immediately you got to switch in English. So I will say that if you do not know English, even the God would not be able to help you. It's better to, to be ensure that you develop some expertise in this language. And let me tell you, it takes just about three to six months to be reasonably confident in communicating in English. Dear candidates, the second question which you have asked is, Dutch, is the repeater's interview any different? What questions are asked in a repeater's interview? Yes, you are right. Though the interview process of the SSB remains more or less the same for, in, uh, for the repeater as well as for a fresh candidate, but yes, there is some changes which the interviewing officer may carry out while interviewing a repeater. You will agree that a repeater is well aware of the SSB process because he has already gone through two or three times. So the sequence of questioning may be different in case of repeater. And secondly, the first question usually and invariably is about his last attempt. Why he has not been able to qualify in the last attempt and what introspection he has done and how does he define his weaknesses which were the reason for his failure in the last attempt. So from there, the interview process may start and he may change the CIQs, that is the comprehensive interview questions sequence may change. Otherwise, let me tell you, the, the process remains more or less the same. And for your information, we have already uploaded a repeater's interview. In that, I have ensured that the repeater's interview takes place exactly the way it takes place in the SSP. So if you see that interview, the candidate's name, if I remember correctly, is Tejas. 
and if you watch that i think all your doubts about the repeater's interview will vanish and the third question which the candidates have asked is does marks obtained in school oblique college has any effect in the selection process frankly speaking yes it does have a uh, dear candidates as you are aware that the piq form which you fill up initially a copy goes to the interviewing officer and a copy goes to the psychologist the interviewing officer obviously looks at your piq form and sees all your marks your family background and your hobbies your all other details and he may formulate some questions based on that also imagine if a candidate is plus 90% in all his examination 10th 12th and graduation does create a better impression we definitely think he is more intelligent more responsible and more serious about his career though this impression of the interviewing officer may not be the lasting impression the candidate otherwise may not have any practical experience may not have the leadership qualities he may be academically good but may not be a very good leader a potential officer that may be a different case altogether but initially let me tell you the interviewing officer will have a better impression about him because of his marks it means his factor 1 that is his effective intelligence his reasoning ability is certainly better than the rest of the candidates though he will certainly cross check during the interview process so dear candidates though the initial impression of the the interviewing officer will be good but it's not the lasting impression he will cross check and it has to be further substantiated during the interview also there are sometimes fluctuations in the marks suppose a candidate may have got in 10th 99% marks in 12th it has gone down to 65 let me tell you this is a matter of curiosity for the interviewing officer he will certainly cross check on this it may be because of the family tragedy of the candidate or his being uh, sort of sick or admitted in the hospital or maybe some other vague reason he may have fallen into the bad company or he may have perhaps paid much more attention in the sports because of that the studies got neglected whatever the reason the interviewing officer will certainly cross check and find it out the next question which the candidates have asked is how can i ensure my screening in ssb dear candidates let me tell you the process of stage 1 has been covered in great detail in our four videos i would suggest you kindly have a look and let me tell you they are elaborate and that will leave no doubt in your mind however since you have asked this question and since there are four to five candidates have asked this question in briefly i will say please do well in your oir that is officers intelligence rating and thereafter you must write a relevant story which is there which for which you get 4 minutes and what matters most is your narration how confidently you narrate your story how what how is your body language how is your confidence how is your communication skill and how you face your group so narration is important and after that the most important part is your group discussion how you participate in that do you take initiative and also how you contribute towards reaching to a common story so your participation does matter so if you ask me uh, rate the uh, importance of these i will say the group discussion will be the most important narration thereafter and of course then oir grading and the story writing the story is not technically reviewed here it's basically you got to write a relevant story dear candidates the next question is how fair is the ssb screening procedure to answer that let me tell you since i have been the president and commandant of the selection center south for a pretty long time that is nearly 2 and half more than 2 and half years 
I will say that the SSB procedure is absolutely fair, have no doubts in that. The selection system doesn't differentiate at all and you will not find any kind of violations of this particular norm. As far as the screen is concerned, I do agree. Yes, sometimes the candidate who have passed in the other votes may fail in the particular screening. Sometimes because of the large number of candidates and because of the limited handling capacity of a particular board, the failures are much more. Sometimes the number of failures percentage wise goes to virtually 85 to 90 percent if the candidates are 400 or 400 plus because the handling capacity of the board may be about 35 to 40. And sometimes only 50 to 60 candidates report for a particular entry and therefore if the results of the stage one are virtually 90 percent pass only 10 percent failing. So that change is always there. So I will say that the stage one process is not a scientific process. That's why it is likely to undergo a change in the de novo and the SSBs and this people in the system are fully aware of it. They do their best. But if the large reporting is there and handling capacity of the board is limited, of course, sometimes the good candidates get left out. I must admit that. And I think some corrective measures are required on this on priority. The next question is, can the interviewing officer check out the marks scored in the CDSC, FCAT, NDA during the SSB testing? Dear candidates, let me tell you, the interviewing officer does not require these marks, firstly, and neither he has any access to these marks. And he actually does not need it to corroborate anything. Since you have passed your written examination and that's the basic requirement to come for the SSB, so he doesn't need to have those marks. And let me tell you, the SSB process is standalone process and your written performance does not affect it. Yes, the merit subsequently may get affected. So your performance during the written examination is important to ensure that you get a high place in the merit. The next question is, I am a five times repeater, conference out all times. What are my chances of recommendation? Okay. This question is slightly vague in the sense till the time I really see the candidate or perhaps interview him, I would not be able to tell you. But I must bring out some facts. I myself have passed a candidate who came for the 11th time I remember. And 5 to 6 times I think many candidates we have passed. I myself have passed in fact. And uh, let me tell you the repeater has a fairly good chance to pass provided he works on his shortcomings, which he has noticed through his own introspection and he has worked hard to improve himself. If he has improved in all fronts, wherever he found himself lacking in the last interviews, of course, I say his chances are reasonably high. But at the same time, a word of caution. Yes, there are certain categories of people, certain types of people, who may just not be made for the armed forces. If you continuously fail six to seven times, I think it's time for having a deep introspection and see whether you are one of those who are just not made for the armed forces. If the answer through your core of the heart comes yes, I think you should try and opt for a second career and work hard towards it rather than wasting your entire life just for appearing for SSP. But if the answer is yes, if you are confident that you can overcome your shortcomings, your weaknesses, yes, certainly you can come again. And I can assure you, I have heard a case where a candidate in his 17th attempt has passed. And just to tell you, Evan, our national hero, PVC winner, Captain Vikram Batra, the Kargil war hero, was himself a repeater. So if he can set an example, so definitely we can also try. But 
there is a need of introspection. Dear candidates, I know fairly large number of you could not be accommodated in our September 21st course. We had to request you to either register yourself for 1st October or 11th October. And I will again request you, if you want to avoid disappointment, please book yourself early. At the last moment, it becomes very difficult for us to accommodate each and every one. You see, our capacity is just limited to about 30 candidates in a course. And this present course, as you all are aware, we had to accommodate 40 of them because they had their interviews very shortly in near future. Next time onwards, we are going to be a little strict on us on this issue particularly. So please ensure that you register well in time and we are not going to change the date thereafter. And each course we are going to keep it limited to only 30 candidates. Second thing, you will be very happy to know that we have started online interviews. Again here, there is fairly a long queue for my interviews. And therefore, kindly register well in time. And this is going to be a game changer. Let me tell you, in my approximately one hour plus interview, I am going to exactly deal with you the way an interview is undertaken in the service selection board. I am going to apprise you your shortcomings, where all you can improve, what exactly is lacking in you, where exactly you stand. Therefore, kindly avail this great opportunity while sitting at your home, but please book yourself again well in time because the available slots are only two in the morning and two in the evening. So ensure that you avail this well in time. The third is we have also started a wonderful test which is very very handy particularly for the fresher as well as repeaters that is the online psychological test. What we do in that? Most of the candidates they do not know what they have done in the psychological test. Where do they lack? Whether they are doing their TATs, their WATs and their SRTs in the right manner or they need to change. Here again, we will take your six stories, about 30 of your SRTs and 30 of your WATs. We check, our expert psychologist will check that and I will personally or my deputy personally will talk to you and tell you how you should go about it. This is also a wonderful opportunity. In GTO, you know where you stand. And most of the candidates, they know whether they are making it or not. But where they do not know, they do not know how they have exactly done in their interview. They do not know where they lack in the psychological test. These two aspects, we are going to make sure that it is available to you while you are sitting at home. Though, let me emphasize again, the best opportunity for you is to come here and avail this wonderful opportunity and get trained. Because here, during the training, in one go, we not only train you for SSP, we train you, we improve your personality. It is a personality development course. We improve your English speaking through those various GDs, various lecturers, and a dedicated English teacher who will guide you from step to step. Overall, you become a wonderful personality, all-round personality, with all the soft skills, good manners, and in true sense you become a gentleman. And you know that an officer is a gentleman. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you like this video and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for all the future updates. If you are new to this channel, then do check out our other videos as well. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram.
Thank you.